سلبری اسرائیل کم آتا ہے نا ہمین آیت ان بھائی نا آس دس چلڈرن آف اسرائیل ہاؤ مینی کلیئر سائنس وی گیو دو دم دے سو بریکلز آفٹر بریکلز بریکل آفٹر بریکل ومن یبدل نعمت اللہ من بعد ما جات ہو فائن اللہ شدید العقاب اینڈ ہو سو ایور چینجز دی بلیسنگز آف اللہ آفٹر دے ہیو کم ٹو ہم دین اللہ سبحان و تعالی از ویری سیویئر ان پنشمنٹ آلس ان ون آیا ایکچولی اس دی ریفرنس ٹو دی فرسٹ پارٹ آف دس سورا وٹ ہیڈ دے بین ڈوئنگ ود دی بلیسنگ آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی زین الزین کفر الحیات الدنیا This life of this world has been made very attractive and beautiful for, for the kuffar. They love it. This life has shine. It, its grandeur. It attracts them. Zuyyana lil-nazina kafaru al-hayatu al-dunya wa yaskharuna min al-nazina amanu. And they mock at the Muslims, at the Mormons. Look to these people. He thinks They think or he thinks there will be another world and he will have all the bounty of Allah in that world. He is living in the hope of the other world. While we, we have all the abilities, all the luxuries, we are enjoying everything here in this world. So they mock at them. يَسْخَرُونَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ عَمَنُوا وَالَّذِينَ تَقَوْ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And those who have taqwa, they will be over them, above them on the day of judgment. وَاللَّهُ يَرْزُقُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ And Allah will give to whomsoever He will please without reckoning, without any limits. كَانَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا Now it's a very important issue. Why there are different religions, different communities? What's the philosophy behind it? This ayah is also one of the most important ayat of this surah. And I have given it the name آیت الاختلاف How اختلاف and differences in religion they appeared. So it's the philosophy of history of Quran. كَانَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا All the people to begin with were one community. All progeny of Adam, they were all one community. They were on Tawheed, on Islam. They were not in darkness. They were in the light of Tawheed. Because the first man was also the first Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First Prophet. فَبَعَسَ اللَّهُ النَّبِيِّينَ Now after that what happened? There were differences among the people. After Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. People divided. فَبَعَسَ اللَّهُ النَّبِيِّينَ مُبَشَّرِينَ وَمُنزِرِينَ So after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised and sent the prophets who were مُبَشِّرِينَ and مُنزِرِينَ both. They were Mubashireen, givers of the glad tidings, bringing the glad tidings to those who took to the right path. Were Munzireen and warning those who took to the wrong path. وَأَنزَلَ مَعْهُمُ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ And he sent down with them the book with the truth. لَيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ فِي مَخْتَلَفُوا فِي To judge between the people in all matters in which they had differed. وَمَخْتَلَفَ فِيهِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ أُوتُهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاتُهُ الْبَيُّنَاتِ بَغْيَمْ بَيْنَهُمْ And people who differed among themselves didn't differ except after the clear signs had come to them. They had the clear knowledge, they had the clear signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was not by mistake. The real call was بَغْيَمْ بَيْنَهُمْ Seeking domination over each other. This domination, Adler's view of psychology, the urge to dominate, this is the real cause of differences which appear in religion. فَهَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لِمَخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ مِنَ الْحَقِّ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided to those who believed to the right path in all the matters in which there was differences. There is nahi with his permission. وَاللَّهُ يَحْدِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَىٰ صَلَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ And it is for Allah that He guides to whomsoever He pleases towards the right path. Now again you'll find the description and the discussion about going to war for the cause of Allah. Did you think that you will enter Jannah, paradise? 
ولما یاتکم مسل الذین خلا من قبلکم آل دو ٹو یو دوز ٹرائلز اینڈ ٹیسٹ اینڈ ٹریبولیشن ہیو ناٹ ہیپن اپ ٹل ناؤ وچ کیم ٹو دوز پیپل ہو ار بفور یو مسط ہوم الباسا افلکشن اینڈ ڈسٹریس ٹچ دیم بزل زلو اینڈ دے ور شیک شیکن حتا یقول الرسول والذین آمنوا معه سو دیٹ دی پروفٹ اف دی ٹائم اینڈ ہز کمپینینز ہو ور ود ہم پیپل ہو بلیوڈ دے کرائیڈ اؤٹ حتا یقول الرسول والذین آمنوا معه متا نصر الله when the help of allah will come ala in the nasrullah qareeb then the glad tidings was given to them that the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not far away it's nigh it's very near so don't shirk and don't avoid going to war for the cause of allah yasaluna ka mada yunfiqun now that in fact and they are asking you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what should we spend how much should we spend and where should we spend qul ma anfaqtu min khairin tell them whatever you spend from your money your wealth falil walidain so first you know they should be spent on your parents wal aqrabin then your relatives get and kin wal yatama the orphans wal masakin and the poor and the needy wal nisabil and the travelers wama tafalu min khairin find allah bihi alim whatever good do good deed you will do allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be knowing it it will be in the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kutiba alaykum al qital wa huwa kurhun lakum now going to war has been made mandatory and obligatory upon you kutiba just as kutiba alaykum as siyam fasting has been made mandatory on you Now it is that stage of the revolutionary struggle of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when this war has been made mandatory kutiba alaykum al qital it has been prescribed it has been made imperative upon you to go to war wa huwa kurhun lakum and it is abhorrent to you wa asan takrahu shay'an wa huwa khairul lakum it is just possible that you are abhorring something you don't like something and it is really good for you on the contrary this is also possible that you like something you love something although it is real in reality it's not good for you it's injurious for you Allah knows that you don't know they're asking you also about the sacred month about going to war in it during that month قُلْ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ Tell them, going to war in a sacred month is a grievous sin. But, وَسَدُّنَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ But preventing people from the cause of Allah, from the way of Allah, وَكُفْرٍ بِهِ And making kufr, and disbelieving him, وَالْمَسْجَدِ الْحَرَامِ And preventing people from going and visiting and pilgrimage to the Masjid al-Haram, وَإِخْرَاجُ وَأَهْلِهِ مِنْهُ And expelling the people of Mecca from it, أَكْبَرُ وَعِنْدَ اللَّهِ That is the bigger sin in the, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْفِتْنَةُ أَكْبَرُ مِنَ الْقَتْلِ The same wordings, وَالْفِتْنَةُ أَشَدُّ مِنَ الْقَتْلِ We read before. وَالْفِتْنَةُ أَكْبَرُ مِنَ الْقَتْلِ Fitna, persecution, and the unjust social order. If the, if the Social system is not under divine rule. That is much worse than killing. وَلَا يَذَالُونَ يُقَاتِلُونَ كُمْ فِي And your enemies, these kuffar, will continue fighting against you during this sacred month. حَتَّى يَرَدُّوكُمْ Till they can, if they can, till they, they take you back from your deen in istatao if they can. وَمَنْ يَرْتَدِدْ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ دِينَهِ And listen, whosoever amongst you goes back from his deen, if under this pressure of the enemies of Islam, he gives up Islam and goes back to that deen of their forefathers, and if he dies in that condition, such are the people who all deeds 
will go in vain, will be destroyed in, the, in this world as well as in the Akhra, in the hereafter. And they are the people of fire and they will remain in that forever, forever. And now again the contrast. Some people only mentions, if there is a mention of such people, we don't have any example really that somebody went back from Islam to Kufr, to Irtidad. But you know, theoretically, because it could be possible for somebody, it was discussed here. And, and on the contrary, the simultaneous contrast, Inna lazina amanu wa lazina hajaru wa jahadu fi sabirillah. On the other hand, those people who believed, who had the real faith, and then they made the hijrah, they migrated at the orders of the Prophet ﷺ from Makkah to Medina. Wajahadu fi sabirillah. Then they fought for the cause of Allah. They made jihad for the cause of Allah. Ulaika yarjuna rahmat Allah. They are the people who are hoping they are the candidates for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are hoping the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahu ghafuru rahim, and verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. Ya saluna kanil khabri wal maisat. They are asking you, O Prophet, now again social problems. They are asking you about wine and gambling. Qul fi hima ismun kabir. Tell them, in both of them there is a grievous sin. Wa manafi'u linnas. But there are some benefits also for the people. But the sin of the both of these is greater than the benefits in both of these. That's, that's all. Here, only this much. This was the first instruction about these two things. The final instructions, they will, they will come in Suratul Ma'idah. And they are asking you, what should they spend? Tell them whatever is surplus, whatever with you is more than your needs, give it away. Give it for the cause of Allah. In this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes his signs, his teachings clear so that you ponder over them. In this world also or in the hereafter also. And they are asking you, O Muhammad Sallallahu about the orphans. Tell to work honestly in their property, to benefit them, is good. And if you intermix your properties and business with them, with theirs, they are your brothers. And Allah very well knows the person who is making mischief, mischief monger, from that, from that person who actually wants to have good, to make a good, good deal about the orphans. He would have been hard upon you if Allah will so. Surely Allah is mighty and wise. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Azim. ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات مزيك الحكيم